Welcome to the expert portion of the shelf. On this week's expert portion of the shelf, we have experts. <laughs> My Uncle Red and his good friend, Edgar Montrose. First letter goes as follows. All righty, uh, dear expert, I took my children to a movie recently and I was disgusted by the language and the nudity. And that was just in the car beside us. <laughs> the movie was far too violent for children or seniors or anyone who hadn't spent time in either prison or the Navy. <laughs> How can we in Hollywood to clean up its act? Signed, offended. Well, I agree with this viewer. I'm telling you, my wife Bernice dragged me out to see that Mary Poppins a few years ago. Man, talk about offensive. I thought I was going to get diabetes. I started singing that super calanarcholeptic extra halitosis. I just about lost my licorice nibs. I'll tell you what's wrong with movies. They give the kids a false sense of reality. Like that movie Speed when the bus blew up. You never get that much flame. <laughs> They showed it as a big fireball, but a real bus explosion is all smoke and mirrors. I know, I was the mechanic at a bus company for a couple of days. Well, I would like to caution of you, there have been some great movies made that are both educational and uplifting. Yeah, in the old days. Like, The Bridge Over the River Kwai. Did you see that baby go up at the end? And the train went crashing into the river? Won an Oscar for Best Picture. But that one now, uh, Bridges of Madison County. I waited for one of those bridges to go up, but nothing. <laughs> and I wasn't the only one disappointed. Everybody in the theater was crying by the end. <laughs> Movies today just don't deliver. I, I do have to disagree with you, because there have been some great films made. You know, like uh, Forrest Gump, The Piano, Dances with Wolves. I saw that one. <laughs> Now, the native guy was okay. <laughs> Should have got the Oscar. But the rest of it was a yawn. <laughs> now, what they needed there was one of those buffalo to get backed up with methane. <laughs> or catch his hoof on a, on, a, on a piece of flint and go off like a big furry grenade. <laughs> Talk about your burgers to go. Hey, Red Green here with a brand new one-man show. That last one wasn't a complete disaster, so we've decided to try it again with new stories, new jokes, new advice, and whatever else it is that I do. It's the How to Do Everything Tour, and it's going to start right here in Canada this coming fall. So get a couple of tickets for yourself, or you know it would make a dandy gift for a friend or a relative. To get all the details, go to redgreen.com and click on the How to Do Everything Tour. Meanwhile, keep your stick on the ice.